Good afternoon, everybody. It's your friend Sheep Ludes. Hi, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Let's talk about some new content in NBA 2K23, my team. If you're wondering why I haven't been streaming the last 48 hours or so, it's because I can only describe having just the worst cold or flu that I've had in at least like four or five years. <laughs> it's rough. This is worse than the vid. I don't know what's going on, but it is so much worse. Uh, so I've been a little out of it the last like 48 hours, but let's talk about the new content. Uh, if you're excited about white dudes, you know, Austin Reeves is here, so that's cool. We finally got a moments card and it's Austin Reeves. A great. That's, that's what we were asking for. I'm sure. So we got new edition cards coming tomorrow. Hooray. We got, uh, some inter just. I guess an interesting crew. Remember that the Bracket Buster cards will also be in this set as well. Ah, Tristan Thompson, Marcus Smart, Ben Wallace, and Clyde Drexler. I do respect Clyde Drexler, though, for being someone of... I don't want to say... I want to say peak athleticism, because he was definitely at peak athleticism with just the nastiest receding hairline. And I like have always respected that. He was like, no. No hair plugs. I will be a bald king. But I'm also going to let it grow out at the same time. I've always liked Clyde Drexler for that reason. Start with Tristan Thompson. 6'10", 7'1", wingspan. Honestly, he has his own release. Sure. <laughs> I just feel like if you're going to spend money and get people into the game to mocap, maybe Tristan Thompson's one you could leave out. That's just me, though. Festus Azili has it. I don't know. For any of my Festus Azili mains out there, like... Let me know if the jump shot's good. I can't imagine that it is. Yeah, I don't have a lot of hope for this card specifically. I, I don't think Tristan Thompson's going to be gassed, but hey, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Tristan Thompson's good. He'll be a semi-competent interior defender, but that's about it. I don't know. Maybe he'll be able to shoot. Maybe not. I'm not really sure, to be honest. I don't know. As you can see here, Bracket Buster inserts will be available in new edition packs as well. Blah, 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 blah. I remember Collect All for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I don't think anyone cares. Whatever. I highly advise, maybe if you didn't participate in the pack strike on Friday, maybe continue to do it on Tuesday. The one thing I will say is if Tuesday pack drops just don't make enough money, they'll just get rid of them altogether as opposed to fixing the odds because that's just how 2K operates, so... Not trying to talk anyone into opening packs, please do not, but just know if you're going to do a pack strike and then you open on Friday, but then don't open on Tuesday, all that's all, all that's going to do is just get rid of Tuesday packs. They're just going to use that as justification. So Marcus Smart is next. PD Marcus Smart, does he play point guard? Yeah, he does. He should be good. I mean, he'll be one of the top 6'3 budget point guards. I mean, 6'4, but whatever. You know what I mean? 6'5 and under is kind of a whole different category for point guards. He'll be really good. I mean, he was already pretty decent. I'm assuming they'll give him MJ dribble style because I don't think we'll see Trey Young, Ja, or Chris Paul from this point forward at all. We'll just see MJ from pretty much every single card unless they're a reward card. So, yeah, not really stoked on that. I mean, his release is fun. This is a card I used quite a bit at the beginning of the year. So, I mean, this card's good. I expect him to be very, very good defensively. He's just going to be like slightly worse Gary Payton like that's what he's going to be slightly worse Opal Gary Payton with a better jump shot that's literally what he's going to be so just expect that right off the rip then we got Ben Wallace now Ben Wallace has AO's release now I don't know if they're going to change that they haven't changed any of the releases um, aside from Granger I think Granger did they change Granger's I believe they did let me check yeah, they gave him Drew Holiday, inconsistent release. So they might change Ben Wallace's. It's going to be interesting to see what they do with that. If I had to guess, I don't think they give him a gassed release. So I don't think he gets like an O'Shea or like a KPJ or Kuzma. Kuzma, they can give him Kuzma. I, I just don't know what they're going to do here. AO's release actually isn't half bad, but, you know, the last card to actually get AO's release besides AO was Gilbert Arenas and Ben Wallace in Season 3. So... I would expect them to change the release. What they're going to change it to, I have no idea. Delano Banton upper, hell yeah. Just keep that, just because it's funny. Um, I would expect him to be able to dribble. He's going to play very, very competent defense. Um, the problem with Ben Wallace is it's just like, 
We got people running power forward taco with Yao Ming center at this point, so I don't really just... I just don't think Ben Wallace is really gonna... He's not playing small forward, so I just don't know what more you can really do with him. Kind of irritates me, though, because, like, Dennis Rodman, they put power forward, small forward. I don't understand why they couldn't do that for Ben Wallace. I understand his natural position as power forward center, but the way the game is, you got to make some adjustments sometimes. So, I don't know. I, his tendencies will probably be the same. They should be significantly higher, but we'll see if they actually change them. Like, Ben Wallace should have perfect tendencies for sure. He'll be maxed on defensive badges. I'm sure he'll have a few shooting badges and be able to have a few of them. But, I mean, realistically, if you want to see what Ben Wallace is going to look like tomorrow, he's going to look like Dennis Rodman. Like, he's going to look identical to Dennis Rodman, I would assume. Like, maxed on defensive badges. He'll probably have a couple playmaking badges. Like, literally a couple shooting badges. And he'll have to be able to upgrade a bunch of them though i would say probably like a between 70 and 85 three-pointer somewhere around there defensive tendencies see rodman's were already good though that's the issue like rodman's were already fire so i don't know if they're gonna go and change that i hope they do but we'll see and then he'll be max defensive stats he's going to be ben he's gonna be dennis rod to a t like this is exactly what he's gonna be like so if you were hoping for a different i don't know then we got drexler Last Drexler we had was Trophy Case Drexler. Shout out to that card. 6'7", six, 6'10", six, wingspan. Um, his release, they probably keep the same, just Drexler on very quick with MJ dribble style. Uh, tendencies, they probably don't change either. I mean, did they change Bosch's? That's a good question. Let's, let's take a look at Bosch. Did they change his tendencies? It looks like they did not. So they left his tendos the same. Same with Wade, so... Probably leave them the same. Maybe juice up like Contest Shot or Block Shot, but I would assume them... Yeah, they're probably going to be the same. I was thinking, like, they should change them, yes. But will they? I don't know. As far as the card itself, I mean, pretty similar to this card. He'll have better hot zones for sure. Or they might leave them the same. I'm not even sure. They'll give him some Hoff shooting badges and maybe a few more Hoff defensive badges. He'll still be really good. It's just, is he going to be worth the three, 400k he's going to be going for? No, for sure. Maybe they juice him out. I mean, it'd be nice to see, like, a Clyde Drexler being as good as maybe, like, a, you know, T-Mac. Like, maybe he has Kevin Porter Jr. release. Maybe he's just really, really good. I don't think they'll do that, but it'd be nice to actually see that. Now, typically, I talk about the market, and we will go look at the market for a second, but spoiler alert, I just really don't think that these guys are going to ship the market in any meaningful capacity but regardless let's go take a look and see what it might first things first if you didn't do this already we got a new bracket buster <laughs> event today which you got to choose between nazir muhammad and michael doliak by the wow fantastic names <laughs> i just love to see that dude uh nazir muhammad is definitely the better of the two being he has like shengun's release and is like pretty good but uh Come on, I wasn't going to pass up Michael Doliak, dude. I always need more trash, stale white guys on the team, for sure. So I wasn't going to pass up Doliak. So you know I had to get young Dole over here, dude. He sucks, for sure. <laughs> look at, dude, like, I love, I'm not going to lie, I love this Bracket Buster event, though. Because we're look at these names, man. Doliak, Frank Kaminsky, Cherokee Parks. Come on, man. Jared Sullinger in the mix. Like, I couldn't take him. I'm hoping I can get some of these guys later in some capacity, maybe through the token market. But, like, mm -hmm. Luther Head. I kind of want Nazir Muhammad in the future. Elton Brand Bulls. Elton Brand. Despicable. Corliss Williamson. Tisk tisk. Anyways, right off the bat, Drexler is going to be, you know, probably three, 400K, I, I would guess. We're getting closer and closer to that lock-in being a thing, so... I do still think that this lock-in is going to be a cracked out card. I don't know who it's going to be. It's looking more and more likely that it's going to be Wilt Chamberlain, though. Like, I, if we don't get Wilt in this set, I think Wilt will be the lock-in. That's just me. The Signature Series lock-in, remember this locks in for a Dark Matter, too. So this is probably, you know, kind of creeping up to be one of the better... I don't want to say investment strategies, but I mean... Look at Dennis Rodman, for instance. Dennis Rodman was... 
30k a couple weeks ago now he's you know 69 is the cheapest you're getting him for uh danny granger same thing danny granger was 20k now he's 100 uh De'Aaron fox is likely to go up as well um he was dropping from packs way too heavily though so don't expect him to go from you know 15 to 20k up to 100k like danny granger and like dennis rodman did i don't expect him to jump up that much but i could see him going from like 20k to like 40k when the lock in actually comes out i wish i would have gone back in time and just bought these cards but at the time i didn't have the mt to do it for rodman uh, literally i was so broke i was on like 30k mt when rodman came out so you know i'm gonna forgive myself on that one but i should have just picked up granger for sure if you if you stacked up on these, man, you're going to be looking good, though. Now, these lock in for a Galaxy Opal, and you can already see a big price increase on TJ Warren. Um, he was like, you know, 20K last week. Now he's like 29. Um, you're not really seeing too much of a jump up on Valchunas. Valchunas was like 6K. Now he's like 14. So he's still more empty, but not as much as you would expect. RJ Barrett, he was like 5K. Moral of the story, if you see these guys for cheap enough, it's worth picking them up, I, I think, anyway. I might just dole out 20K for TJ Warren at this point. Now, the Flash Diamond set's probably your best bet, though. Like, Claxton, he was 3,000 MT, and now he's like 10. You know what I mean? Jaden McDaniels hasn't really gone up that much, but he was like... 3000 mt at 1.2 now he's like 4500 so he really didn't go up that much claxton did big cum bucket out here he's super cheap i would recommend buying these cards i don't know who the lock-in is going to be but worst case scenario the lock-in sucks and you either sell the cards back that way you only lose like a couple thousand mt maybe or or you lock in for whatever terrible opal it is this one's a little bit more like cost intensive with tj warren in the mix i'll probably just wait honestly for the super packs to come out because people are gonna open those they shouldn't but they will now do any of these cards actually cause any type of like market fluctuation no like tristan thompson's not hurting the value of anyone i can tell you that right now marcus smart like maybe maybe gary payton goes down a little bit depending on like how good marcus smart is but we'll have to see tomorrow because they're basically like the same player uh, marcus smart's probably just gonna have a better jumper so we'll see what's up with marcus smart he's probably just gonna be a slightly better version of gary payton or just kind of like right there you know ben wallace i don't think ben wallace hurts anybody's price maybe like a josh smith <laughs> like i don't know but like none of the top tier options will be hurt by ben wallace it'd be different if you played small forward i could see ben wallace maybe hurting value of certain players at the small forward position but other than that probably not drexler probably not if they juice him out like t-mac i could see him harming the value of someone like uh vince carter for instance uh, we'll kind of see how that's going to go, but we could see like Vince Carter fall off a little bit if he's juiced up like that. Uh, Kobe Bryant, we could see Kobe fall down a little bit, a tiny bit. It's still Kobe at the end of the day, if Drexler is that cracked out, but I just don't think he will be. I think he'll have his own jump shot. I think he'll be like a Dark Matter version of Dominique, basically, you know, like not flashy, but solid that's just me let me know what you think down in the comments below as always has been your friend chief ludes i am about to go lay down and die for a little bit so peace